Brian Ortega came out and he gave this really honest assessment and reflection on his title fight with Max Holloway. And he said that uh, his corner in the fifth round wanted him to take him down. How come you weren't taking him down? Take him down. And Ortega goes, take him down. I don't have any hands at this point. I don't even have any thumbs. And, you know, he was talking about all the shots that he took and he had to choose. Do I block my, he said, I would take 10 shots and I have to choose. Do you know, do I block my face? Do I use my hands for offense? Do I keep them down and protect my body? And Max is coming all over. He's very complimentary on accident. I mean, he was talking about from his standpoint, but it's very complimentary to Max and he was very accurate. And there's plenty of guys in this sport that just aren't going to be quite what you might think. Ortega would fall into that category. He's a very rough guy when you see him on camera. He's got a very straight face. He's out there and he's all business. If you ever meet him, he's nothing short of a gentleman. He's pleasant. He's polite. If you pay him a compliment, it will mean something to him, at which point he will thank him. He's just, he's one of these really good guys. And I remember that night. I remember it very clearly. I was at home and I'm watching his fight. And his fight is at the exact same time as a major boxing match, I think, Pacquiao. Not relevant to the story, but I'm going to continue with Pacquiao for the sake of the story. So, you know, if, if you're a fight fan, you got, it's a little bit tough. What, do you got two TVs side by side? It's a little bit tough. Even if you order both, you're flipping back and forth. It's, it's one of these things. So. Ultimately, warning, ultimately, this story turns into Chael name dropping. But who likes to who likes to name drop more than Chael? So Al Bundy, Ed O'Neill. Ed O'Neill, who does jujitsu and I believe received a black belt, trains with Brian Ortega. Okay. So he knows Brian very well, plus he's a big fight fan, but he's a big boxing fan. So at some point in the evening, I sent him a text message because I know he's tuned in, and he informs me he's not watching the UFC, that he's watching Pacquiao. Okay. Surprised me, but you, you can only watch one. So I then elect myself as his narrator of the fight when Ortega comes up. So I am letting him, you know, round one concludes and I'm sending him a text message so he can keep watching Pacquiao and think Chael's a cool and helpful guy, right? So I sent him a, hey, Max won, a lot of boxing. Round two comes, hey, Max won, this is a great fight, but it's, you know, at this point he's pitching a shutout. Round three, round four. And I believe they stopped that contest in the fifth round. But at any rate, when they stopped the contest, it needed to be stopped. I mean, this is just what happened, right? Or Ortega's getting, they need to stop this fight. So I'm getting, whatever updates I'm giving them, and they're very quick and they're very short, but they aren't favorable to Ortega. They're accurate. I'm just telling him what's happening. So he's responding round after round, even if it's with one word or it's with two words, you know, hey, not watching, watching. Watching Pacquiao. And whatever it is when I finally get to the... So now I've sent him seven or eight messages. None of them are positive to Ortega, but I'm telling him what's happening. So he finally cracks. He's had enough and he just lights me up. And I think he... he, he I, he tells me, man, Brian Ortega is my friend and why you think telling me this is... I mean, he really tells me off. And I said, hey... F you, Ed. And I spell it out. Capital letters. Hey, capital. I said, I'm telling you what happened because you said you're watching Pacquiao. I know, I know you're friends with Ortega. That's why I'm telling you because you really think I'm not watching. The he, we go back and forth. Next day, out of the blue, he sends me a text. He goes, hey, by the way, who is this? <laughs> so I go, and that changes everything in many ways. First off, me being told off doesn't count. If he didn't know who he was telling off, and this is a random message, 
On the other hand, it's one of the bigger stars in all of Hollywood, and I can reference Married with Children, but he's on Modern Family, which is the number one show in the country at the time that is, the mere fact that he was writing back a total stranger that was just lighting up his phone. I mean, at no point does does Ed O'Neill look like a jerk. I don't think I was told off, by the way. I don't know that I believe him. I think he was watching the fight. But moreover, the fact that he was just writing somebody random back that was texting his phone, pretty cool. 